But when I unboxed these, a few differences surprised me so much that I decided to do a specific video. And this is it. <laughs> I'm Christine and on my channel you can join me for a crossover of art and fashion videos I'd appreciate it and today I'm going to help you find your perfect pair of the new Hermes Chipre Schilling sandal and I'm also going to show you the quality spectrum these shoes might come in <laughs> And my initial plan was to actually feature this in my next upcoming video. That'll be a colorful one, it'll be about summer favorites, how I style them. There'll be a lot of visuals and some mini reviews. I'm also going to feature the new Louis Goya liner, I think. Yeah, but when I unboxed these, a few things surprised me so much that I decided to do a specific video. And this is it. <laughs> so these are in the rose up and I absolutely love this very soft and feminine color for this more um, chunky and casual style. And if you do find the perfect size for you, um, this will be the most comfortable and coolest style you can wear this season and the next season. <laughs> So the sizing is actually very good on these <laughs> and the pair on the right here is just half a size up and I think just from looking at them it would be impossible to tell them apart. But I was surprised just how much larger the bigger pair fell. And here's already one shoe from each pair and the smaller one is on the left side. And yeah, I think the differences in the length of the sole are minimal. Okay, so we can see a bit of a difference here. But as I just said, they almost look identical in size. But there was a huge difference when trying these on. So um, if these are in the right size, they'll be the most comfortable thing you ever tried. But the other bed was just half a size up, made it tough for me to even um, cross the room in them properly. So it's so, so important to get this right. And that's why I prepared a few tips for you um, to maybe um, discover your right size. And um, especially because I think currently it's still the best bet to try and get those online. And if these do pop up, they um, do tend to go fast though. I think it's it's a good idea to already know your know your size so that's coming up in a second and yeah the other thing that stumped me was uh, the difference in appearance and I'm not talking about um, craftsmanship issues here but more about the materials used and I'm going to show you this a little bit closer after my tips so just order your regular size if you go with the size that will fit you most of the time you'll be fine My answer to this is snug, because I thought as these um, are such a casual and comfy style, you might just, um, you could also wear them a little bit more loose, but that's not true. They need to fit well, so um, yeah, snug is the way to go. <laughs> I thought it would be so easy to size these up, but it isn't. They really have to be just the exact perfect size for you, so I'd rather not size up. Also, most probably sizing down is not a good idea as well, so just uh, wait um, till the perfect size arrives. So as these are a unisex style, they'll be available in the men's department as well um, every now and then. And I obviously need a rather small size, so um, I never try to order from the men's department and don't have any experiences, so I don't want to really recommend it. Um, I can only see what I saw from photos and that's that the men's style does look a little bit more chunky and wider and also the straps are wider so I wouldn't try it. It might work out but um, I wouldn't. <laughs> And the conclusion is, you know, they're perfect for you if they're just super, super comfortable. So don't settle for the wrong size just because these are a little bit hard to get at the moment. And now I'm going to show you the differences. And as I mentioned it before, I'm not talking about craftsmanship issues here, but more about the materials used. And I was super lucky that the one that was also the perfect size for me also looks um, exactly the way I wanted it to look like. <laughs> So Rosebe means dawn and now I understand why this shade is so popular right now. It's gorgeous, it is pink but it does work as a neutral and it goes with almost anything. It only has a slight tendency to clash with other pinks sometimes. 
And what I also love here is how this color shows different hues in different materials but all over this pair looks very harmonic and has a very chic monochromatic look. I'm a huge fan of this darker than rosy shade and I'll um, refer to this pair as pair 1 and now we're gonna have a look at the other pair and uh, we can see the leather on this pair looks much lighter and almost like a pastel salmon pink it's lovely as well actually <laughs> and when we put them next to each other here you can definitely see the difference in the leather colors and while the color on pair 1 on the left looks much more vibrant the leather on the other pair looks much lighter and maybe a little bit washed out. And yeah, there also seems to be much more difference between the color of the straps and the lining on pair 2. And I think it also takes away a little bit from this nice monochrome look. And the differences are a little bit more striking in person because cameras do love to harmonize the colors a little bit. And I also do know that different leather patches, of course, can have different colors. But I was surprised how much they differed. And well, I think it almost looks like a different hue here. And of course, the same thing is true for shielding. It's a natural material as well. And each different piece used most probably has a little bit of a different look. But I think, for example, the piece that was used on this shoe is actually perfect. It's very thick and lush and shiny. And if we compare it here um, with the piece that was used on the other pair, well, we can see that there is a difference as well. So here's pair two. And the shilling on this pair did feel thinner. Well, <laughs> maybe that's actually an advantage in a summer shoe. Um, and this piece also looks a little less vibrant and darker than the other one. Um, yeah, here's pair one again for a comparison. So there's definitely a bit of a difference between these. And now I'm going to show you one photograph. I know it's not a very pretty photograph, but it's an old photographer trick. If you want to see something very well or um, you're not sure if there's an issue, just use a very strong flash on it and it will reveal all the details. Might they be good or bad? So for example, here the flash shows us the differences very well. And you can also see that the thicker shielding piece on pair 1 reflects much more light than the thinner one on pair 2. And that's also something that makes this piece of shielding appear much darker than the other one. So I'm not saying the one pair is better than the other one. Just personally, I prefer the colors on pair 1 and I'm glad it was the one that fit me well. And with luxury items or very well-made items in general, differences in appearance are actually proof that these are handmade and don't have a copy-paste look. And even the care booklet here says that these models will be unique. And I do know it's just shoes and we're going to walk in them anyway. But it's also Hermes and I'm always a little bit um, on a mission to find the one perfect piece for me. And um, I think for the Chypre sandals I found it with those. And um, yeah, this was my input for the new Hermes Chypre shilling sandals. And the next video will have all the mod shots and styling tips. And I'd say um, let's see you next time. <laughs>